I think this is actually now starting to get really good for Fabi, but I think Ladura took the wrong pawn. Now Fabi's C pawn is just marching forward. Fabi's going to win. Fabi's going to win. He's going to go C7, C8. You can't stop the pawn. It's over. Two pieces up. Fabi might need to mate with knight and bishop against king, but with the one second increment, he's going to have no problem doing that. Something went terribly wrong there for Gladura as he allowed Fabi to get a pass pawn. But again, time scrambles. Anything is possible. This should be a very easy win. And what's more, Fabi doesn't even have to give away his H pawn. He won't even have to checkmate with knight and bishop unless Gladura can get his king to H3 which he's trying to do, and he will do it. So we're going to see Fabi checkmating with Knight and Bishop. That's quite the treat. You always wonder, you know, do these GMs know their basics? <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, we'll do we're trying to do it a dirty move there. And Fabi, he's got a great arrangement of pieces right off the bat. Um, and yeah, Bishop B3, this is easy. This is actually really easy because he's basically got the king in the right corner already. King G3, I mean, anything is mating. He's got the king in the right corner. This is a very, very easy mate. Okay. So Fabi's going to win his game. Let's uh, check into Alexander Bortnik's game. Knight f2, knight h3, and bishop d5. Gladura 